Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Recently I bought this HP ProDesk 400 G7 with Intel i5 5th generation CPU. I'm going to use it for my own needs and in this video I'm going to explore the technical specifications, disassemble it and have a look what's inside of it. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. For your convenience, the video is divided into several chapters. This personal computer comes in a big cardboard box. It's very well packaged and the first thing that obviously I need to do is to unbox it. As expected, the box includes the personal computer, but also it includes a very basic USB wired keyboard and mouse. HP ProDesk 400 G7 is a micro tower personal computer. My unit is with Intel i5 10th generation CPU and 8GB of RAM. The front panel includes a power button on the right. Next to it there is a headphone microphone combo jack and 4 USB-A ports. And if you think that DVDs and CDs are dead, you are completely wrong because on the top of the front panel there is a hidden DVD rewritable device. The front panel also includes a placeholder for a SD card reader which unfortunately is not installed on my unit. The most interesting part in any personal computer for me is the rear panel, so let's have a look at it. From right to left, here we have a power supply, after that we have more USB ports and an Ethernet jack. There is a display port and an HDMI port. This is display port version 1.4 and the HDMI port is also version 1.4. Last but not least, on the far left we have an audio out connector. On the top of the rear panel there is a screw. In the next chapter we will use it to tear down the computer. Out of the box this HP ProDesk 400 G7 comes with Microsoft Windows 10 Pro. However, I'm a Linux user so my plan is to get rid of Windows and instead install Ubuntu on it. I'll also perform some upgrades and probably I'll publish new videos with details about them. Now let's have some fun and tear down this computer so that we can see what's inside of it and how it is made. As mentioned in the previous chapter, we are starting with the screw on the rear panel. By unscrewing it, we're gonna remove the top part of the case. HP ProDesk 400 G7 is very compact, but still there is some space so that you can perform upgrades. The second step is to remove the DVD device. Remove the SATA and power cables from the back. After that, using the clip, slide it out of the front panel. After releasing the DVD, the next step is to remove the plastic cover of the front panel. Gently push the clips on the top and on the back to remove the plastic cover from the front panel. Finally, press simultaneously on the left and on the right side where there are dedicated spots and turn the whole front panel down. Now we have full access to the motherboard. On the left you can see an NVMe e SSD drive. On the right side there is a big fan for cooling the CPU. And in the middle there are the slots for the RAM memory. It is interesting that on the printed circuit board of the motherboard we have places for 4 RAM slots but only two of them are populated. So in practice the maximum number of uh, RAM memory banks that we can add is only two. Now let's have a closer look of the motherboard. First let's inspect the RAM memory. By default my particular unit is with only 8 gigabytes of RAM memory which are inserted in a single bank. This is DDR4 memory rated at 3200 megahertz. However, for units like mine with i5 or with i3, it runs at 2666 uh, megahertz. Later on, my plan is to upgrade the RAM memory to 16 gigabytes. 
However, the motherboard is very picky and to get maximum performance, you need to use RAM memories with JDEC profile at 1.2 volts. Once again, I repeat the motherboard and the BIOS support only JDEC profile of the RAM memory. So if you buy XMP profile, it will not work at the maximum frequency. On the bottom of the motherboard, there are some slots for adding peripheral devices. We have a couple of PCI Express slots. There is also an M2 slot and uh, SATA connectors for attaching more drives. Let's have a closer look at the power supply. This is the part number. And as you can see from the label, it is rated at 210 watts. So the maximum power should not exceed that. And obviously it's not a very powerful power supply and beware about this if you're planning to attach a lot of peripheral devices to HP uh, ProDesk 400 G7. I think we had enough details and now it's time to put back everything together so that I can enjoy this really nice computer. The assembly is straightforward. I'm pretty much doing the same steps from the teardown in reverse order. We had a quick look at the technical specifications of this HP ProDesk 400 G7. We also disassembled it. And now it's time to wrap up this short video with some conclusions. I have to say that this is a really nice machine, especially for home and office work. Obviously, it's not made for gaming, but the good thing is that the case is compact, but still allows you to perform some upgrades. And I'm planning to do this type of upgrades. I highly recommend this PC, especially if you find it at a decent price. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.